what do we got? 11.73. Okay, so that is not enough to start a, start a car. You need 12.6. 12 volts will not start a car. Do you know that? All right, so let's swap the battery. So, we knew that this battery was bigger. It's larger than the battery tray. The important thing is that the terminals don't contact the hood, you know, once we shut it, which it shouldn't because that intake is much higher. And there's a cutout right where the battery, um, or in the hood, there's a space there meant for it. So, let's put the terminals on. Okay, and then uh, we'll get that battery hold down back on. First thing I want to do is start it. See if it starts? Which it will, but I need to know. Yeah. put the new flasher in and see if that will fix that and if not we'll just move on from that for now um, then we'll go to we'll pull the plugs before we mess with the fuel system because I just want to see what the plugs look like yeah to see if it looks like it's running rich then we'll compression test it replace the plugs test the fuel pressure um, replace the injectors Yeah, I have no idea how that works. So, Brain. underneath the um, dash to the left of the clutch pedal, there's a fuse panel and there's also some relays. And here's the old one. Okay. This is what I call the flasher. And in this vehicle, you have a, uh, a flasher that controls the hazards and a flasher that controls the blinkers. And um, 
So I, I replaced it and it's working. So you go, if you look under there, they're not silver anymore. The new style is like a see-through blue, but you should still be able to see it. If you just look at the fuse box, cause there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little tight it's a little in here. tight squeeze. You see it? I do. See that one? So it does all of the blinkers? That so, one's? Well, that one that you're focusing on is the hazards in the top right of the fuse box. Okay. That one is the blinkers. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Good. Good. Two things off the list. Yeah. I mean, it's a little rich. And they definitely look good. That will look like a little, um, like a tire uh, valve stem. Yep. Is basically what that is. Yep. And so you can screw on your fuel tester. Like so. We can test two things here. Um, we can test how much pressure is in that when you prime the fuel pump, which I'm going to do first, just for fun. Not that it matters, right? So let me do that real quick. What's that? 45. 45? Just under 45. Okay, so now I'm going to start it, alright? Okay. Let's see what it does. Uh... Put the handle as far to the left as possible. Now pull the handle up without moving the ring that's around the filter. Once it's tight, then you turn the filter. See how I have it? Yeah. It's as far over as possible. Yeah. Now I lift up on this only. Uh-huh. Now it's tight. Yeah. Around the filter. I did that. And you can actually shimmy it over a little bit to get it even see how far over I am now and it's tight super tight so now I'll just pull up on it and somebody over tighten this filter I would have never been able to get that off, would I have? No. <laughs> it popped my shoulder. Ouch. That's how tight it was. That's my All right, up. so you know that it's extremely important to make sure that there's no O-ring left from the old filter. With this, it can sometimes come off. Mm. If you have two of them, 
You'll spray oil everywhere. It's good to know. So it's still on the old filter. I've only seen it happen once. But ever since then, I check every time. So we're good to go. Um, throw this one back on. idle which is what i was scared of and obviously that's why they put that um thumb throttle in there i know it has its own uses but that's my guess i'm guessing they tried to put a bandit on the problem so i'm going to pull off the idle air control valve and um, see what's going on with it it looks clean but maybe there's some grease or gunk in it and uh, maybe we'll replace it and see if that fixes it i'm having a small inclination that it's not going to fix it um so if it doesn't, I'll be pulling off the intake manifold and replacing that, um, which I do have one. So it's, I'm gonna put un, put the new one on anyway. So. There's no gasket. So we'll just have to clean this off. Okay. See all the blue? Yeah. All the blue. And then we'll put new gasket maker okay. on it and refill it. Please. Is that a job before french fries or after french fries? <laughs> after, I guess. I feel like this is going to be hard. Oh, 
Let's see. Babe, you're wrong. I'm wrong? Yep. No. Yes. It can't be. No. Yeah. Well, am I? I don't know. You're 100% wrong. Kaylee working with tools. It's not going well. The more you make the bar, the more leverage you have. Mm -hmm. You can slide it all the way out here. Try to just loosen here. 